Hello ladies and gentlemen, yes, Zeke here again today to bring you another episode of Let's Play XCOM Long War. So, I'm in desperate need of all the materials that this thing could give me. Um, I'm gonna take my very, very best A squad, and I don't even care if they're fatigued. You're coming. Um, Island Boy is coming. I need a good Rocketeer. I, I, I need Ren here. I absolutely need Ren. You, of course, get your good sniper rifle, because I'd be stupid not to take your good sniper rifle. And also, NOE usually land. So th that's the part of the information I got from Trent that I was talking about. NOE and low are usually landing or bombing. You can basically ignore them. If they're flying high, they're probably going after satellites, and they will likely try to destroy them. I unfortunately didn't get my extra armor yet. Oh well. Um... That'll have to do for the loadout. You, you have exactly what I want you to have right now, so let's go with it. I probably want a good Rocketeer. Misty Inferno is my best, clearly, but... 72 is my next best, huh? I'm afraid I'm going to get Misty injured by taking him here. I also kind of need a Lieutenant on the mission. A little lower fatigue time. So you can, of course, go with a Scope, because... I want to give you a scope, of course. Improves your aim, makes sure the deviation on your rockets is not too much, and also go for... Eventually when Misty has enough aim, I'm going to be giving him... Make items available. Eventually when Misty has enough aim, I'm going to be giving him the Shatter Array instead so he doesn't have to steady it because he won't have to steady his weapon. But for now I'm going to give him the laser rifle so he can steady his weapon. Okay, so I have two people who are going to be injured just because I'm taking them on this mission. I should bring a medic. I'd be stupid not to bring a medic. You just go with a regular laser rifle. Um, I'm completely out of regular laser rifles. So I guess you take a shatter array. It'll give you extra movement. You'll have to reload more often, but at least you will be able to heal people. And also a scope. I just really like scopes. I'm not going to try to capture anybody this mission. Is there anybody over here that I missed? I thought I had three laser rifles. Make items available again, I guess. Um, could really use extra snipers. Um, gunners. So, time to take gunners or assaults. Or engineers. Mastodong? Mastodong is on the case. So, I, I think I've already made items available, but I'm going to do it again. And then Mastodong can actually take... A very quick um, shatter array here, and then a bunch of alien grenades. I, I'm not going to be shy about using explosives on this mission. I'm pretty sure that's the only way I'm winning. I remember some of the um, outsiders from the last mission being a huge pain in the ass. I'm just really hoping I don't lose anybody. This is such an A squad. A squad, it's the A squad. A squad is the squad that I use to something get together okay um i need an infantry shot mc bullet spray is gonna have to do the trick they're gonna take the heavy laser rifle and hopefully the scope will be enough to make up for for the kind of bad aim that they have it's only 80 aim but i can destroy cover with explosives that i have so maybe that's not that bad it's not so bad it's not so bad okay who else do i have um, decent rocketeer, infantry, infantry, fatigued medic, rocketeer, scout. I think scouts can also use shotguns, so maybe I want to take another scout. A gunner would be ideal. Hey, here's a gunner. It's Chick Norris. It's Chick Norris can be our last person. Loadout. I have to watch what weapons I take. That's the problem here. Make sure people are in position well ahead of time. Scope, laser sight, yes. Tack armor, yes. Now, guys, mission, mission speech. Don't goddamn die, motherfuckers. Go. Go, go, go. Or something. So I'm glad I managed to use the first four names on my list. I'm not renaming anybody Strike this time, one. but I am okay. not bringing any new people on a large UFO mission. We're going to I don't like using my people when they're fatigued. Especially when it was like one day until recovery, hey, but... Hey, this is Big Sky. We're in position and awaiting further orders. 
Roger that, Big Sky. Strike one. You are green to deploy. Approach with extreme okay. caution. Okay, first things first. Current enemy status at the site is unknown. Island Boy just... Oh, okay. Wait, wait a second. Misty, I have a job for you. I have something for you. Is it a bunch of hits on these guys? Oh, Why, yes. Man, right. Yes, it is. Oh, that was beautiful. And then up. they all come towards us, and then I kill them all. I can actually... I could probably kill them with my guns. Where... I actually really, really want to um, level up my new... Where are they? Game Master Dong? Shot McBullet Spray. You don't have the best aim. But you do have some good shots available, and they're with a heavy laser. There's one kill. Oh, this is such a beautiful situation. What I should really do, though, is actually shoot with Ren first. It's a good 80%, 85, 81, 81. Let's go with the 85... Let's go with this one over here. This one seems like it might be a bit harder to kill. Hollow targeting is done. And then I need Shot McBullet Spray again. Come on, Shot McBullet Spray. I know you're here. 78% chance is your highest. Go for it. Come on, hit, hit, hit. Oh. If worse comes to worse, I can kill these guys with my, um... With my grenades. So I think... This guy up front, since you're a commanding officer, or a commanding thing, I guess. I, I don't know what to call you. I have a 100% chance of hitting this, but I think I'd be better served actually getting a strong crit on somebody with more health. Yeah, like 100% chance to crit over here. Seems like probably the best use of Island Boy. One second, just going to adjust these all, curtains yeah. to get a bit of soundproofing going on here. And, um, Laser Shatter Array. Who do I have left? It's important to know who I have left. I have Generic Stormtrooper and I have Mastodong. I have to kill all these people this turn. So Generic Stormtrooper, That's you are actually permanent. moving over here. I'm, I'm enjoying how easy these first kills are. Because, like, I've taken out a large group of aliens now. It really, really helps in general for the rest of the aliens in the mission. I, I know that sounds really out? obvious. Oh, except I can't kill the one in the back. Oh, it killed the one in the back. Wow, that's lucky. Again, I am not actually upset about this. This is a good thing to me. There is something on Overwatch. I'm going to need to um, kind of get behind it and make sure that it doesn't shoot anybody else. But I don't even think I need to enter cover here. So let's start with... 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 Who's my scout here? Which scout did I bring? Ren? You need to move and actually get within range. I'm on the move. And then you need to be shot. Excellent. You're doing your job well, Ren. Sucks that your job is to get shot, but, you know, dems the brakes, I guess. So 190, 80, 90 here. So that's the shot you're taking. Hopefully you actually get a hit as well as, yeah, there you go. And then I almost think um, Misty should fire a shredder rocket. Yeah, that seems like a really good idea. I have a pretty good idea, and I could shred all of them, but I'm not sure how much damage it would, like, it has to do damage to actually impart the shredded status, so I have to make it Going closer on. to this guy over here. Heavy there we go, so I shredded all of them, I have heat ammo too, so it did extra damage against mechanical units, and now I just have some heavy laser shots, hmm, I'm gonna take it, uh, sorry, um, one second guys. There's some very reasonable noise going on, but I'm just going to pause the recording for one second. Yeah, sorry about that. As it turns out, Despic needed to get up and go to work. Like I said, very reasonable noise, so he had to make his own coffee. Um, just kind of unfortunate timing. 100% chance to hit with um, Island Boy because, or yeah, Island Boy because Island Boy's a badass. Now I, I only have to do one more damage. I would rather do that damage in such a way where. I can't believe I can't fire on that at this range. I'd like to do that damage in such a way that I actually get the supplies, but if I have to go. do that damage via just a regular shot, I will do it. But I don't think I'll have to. 95%! Oh god, okay. So there was a 1 in 20 chance there that I lost a, ca a character. Enemies down. That was probably a stupid risk, but, you know... I really yes, wanted the supplies. I, 
I'm on I'm on this mission to get as many supplies as possible. That's the only reason. So I do see the large UFO forward there. It is one of these nice large UFOs with the huge front entrance that I actually like. So I'm pretty happy about that. I'm going to have to um advance fairly slowly and do some reloads. I hope I don't come across any more aliens. Wow, this is getting real loud. Good to go. Um suspenseful music. That's a I, I understand what's going on right now, but okay, so there is a squad worth of um, seekers. Again, seekers I'm not too worried about. Seekers are fairly easy. I can even like throw an alien grenade almost all the way over there and probably get a hit. But instead, I'm just going to fire at it because why not? Master Dong! Oh. No round. Come on, Master Dong. I know you can do better than that. Okay. So now I just have to very slowly advance and overwatch everybody. It's one of those things that happens eventually. I've already used two Fire rockets, but I used one of those rockets on a cyber disc, so I'm, I'm not too upset about that. Overwatch again, make sure that nobody is left in the dark Move here in. or uncovered. Although I probably will be taking some damage here. So you just reload actually, Ren. Ready to rock. But I will have plenty of recovery time, and I'll have the ability to take a shot or two. Yeah, look at that, one of them down entirely already. That is a good thing. And you can just overwatch as well. Or actually, maybe I should have um, steadied weapon with Island Boy, since Island Boy only has one more shot left before he has to reload. Laser weapons, they don't have that much ammo, which is why I was so excited about the ability to conserve ammo. And then I saw what you needed to get the ability to conserve ammo, and it was ridiculous. Okay, so... Advantage is suddenly mine. Um, let's start by just throwing down a battle scanner, like, right there. I, I like how this has gone on. Did I accidentally turn the game way the fuck up? Yeah. It's like shooting fish in a barrel. Except, uh, actually I won't, won't say easier because shooting fish in a barrel is literally like the definition of easy. So I have a 100% chance to hit all of them. Let's hit this one right here. 100% chance to crit as well. My god. That crit chance. Man, I probably should have gone for the hit on the one with more health in that case. Um, generic stormtrooper. I guess you just hit the one in front of you. You aren't going to do much damage to it anyways. Probably take two people to take it out. That was a crit and it did three damage. Mastodonga, you just reload actually. I don't think I'll need your help for this. Let's go with 100% back there. And Acidic Raccoon and my Gunners should be able to take out the rest. Or my Gunner, is it? Oh, it isn't Acidic Raccoon, it's Shoots Ski McBullets there. 100% chance, 70% chance to crit. Really good damage, and Shoot McBullets Spray? Shoot McBullets Spray should be able to take it out with two hits. Oh man, your aim is so bad. Or take it out with one hit and then reload. Now, I think there was one more of them? If I'm not mistaken? Now where I, I I see that it's revealed. Okay, so you just kind of move forward a bit and reload. I'm not too concerned about actually um, <laughs> killing this with somebody who has two shots. You could use a grenade, but that would be a waste of a grenade. I have very limited explosives on this mission. Ren, I think this is your time to shine here. Three waves already. I don't know how many waves are generally in. Uh... Oh, okay. Well, that was easy. X-ray down. I don't know how many waves are generally in a large UFO, but I don't think it would be more than like six or seven. So I'd assume I'm almost half done already. Let's reload here. Move a tiny bit more forward. I, I want to make sure that I have everybody, all guns to bear on anybody who happens to come into my range. So you can head all the way over here. I'm going to have to have um, Shot McBullet Spray and Chuck Norris and Misty Pony just run as far as possible. Very important people to get in position. Oh man, this game just keeps... One second, I have to turn this down. My god, this is not even the right volume. Hell's name happened with that. Okay, well... Sorry, that background music was just way too much, and it still is! Well, it's not as bad, so... I, I guess I'll let it lie. There we go, so where are our next enemies? 
Give us an indication. Give us a direction. Come on. I know you want to. Okay, so I should probably move the forward people forward first. You know, that, that makes sense to me, so let's give it a try. Now, the one thing I don't like about this is, oh, the need to um, separate into these two areas. That's what I was going to say. Unfortunately, I don't actually see anybody anymore, so you can just hunker down for now. I'm hoping they don't try to gas me later. Master Dong needs to be a bit forward just so you can actually destroy their cover if necessary. Misty Inferno, you'd be best suited behind full cover and possibly at quite a distance. So you can maybe sink a rocket in there if you absolutely need to, although you probably won't. You... You need to move forward. I can't hunker you down. That sucks. But okay then. Wow, um, that, that's actually really bad. That is incredibly bad. Hmm. I really should have expected something to be in that area. You just steady your weapon for now. You might have shots next turn. I do have some shots with you. Well, no, I have some vision with you. I don't have any shots. So you can get behind this half cover, and you're still in squad sight range, but now you actually do have shots, but you have to hunker down. Now you, on the other hand, do have shots, and I desperately, desperately want them to hit and to crit, so please do. Island boy, come on! Oh, yes! The badass continues to live! The badassery, it's real! My god, every time I need you to come through for me in a clutch, it's just like, yep, I can do that, don't worry about it. Man, it's just what I do. Everyday bit normal business as usual for me. It's basically what I'm getting at. Okay, so I did kind of expect that to hit. I expect it to do more damage too, so I'm actually pretty happy about that result. Just, oh, okay, so now I need to heal. I did bring a medic with me. So I'm not too upset yet. Hmm, 33, 40. So I think what I need to do is I need to kind of commit to killing these two this turn. And how I'm going to do that is by moving Maybe over here. Quest. There's no overwatches to deal with. Throwing an alien grenade to kind of bust up the cover a tiny bit. And to do damage to one of them. I hope that'll do the trick. I might also have to use my last rocket here. So that did break some cover, it didn't break enough cover. Um, this is Misty. Can you fire a rocket and hit all three of these guys? Yes you can. But you'd maybe be better off firing a rocket and hitting both of these guys? Or maybe firing a rocket and hitting both of these guys? Let's do this. I know this is my last rocket, but I don't really think I have a choice. Ooh, and the rocket missed. That is that is really bad deviation, Misty. That was nowhere near as good as it could have been. Okay, Ren. You have an 80% chance of hitting this guy up here. And a 65 there. Go for the 80. Ren has been getting, like, gradually better and better aim, so that's been good at least. 48 there. I might as well just go for the 48 and hope for the kill. Oh my god! Chuck Nor Chick Norris! Yes! Thank you! 81, 81, 81 again. I'm gonna take the 81, of course, because I kind of have to. I'm pretty much committed to killing all these guys this turn or at least that's what I have to hope for now I have med kits or I could smoke grenade or you could leave generic stormtrooper and shot with bullet spray hmm I don't know about this If I were to move here, then I could probably also move there. 
Hmm. And they're the only two I have left. Okay, I think my best move is actually to wait, what what are what are your abilities? Paramedic. Okay, so you move here, I think, and you'll be able to be healed. Then you have to get behind further cover later. Uh, you didn't move far enough. These guys don't have rockets, but they can spray acid at us. I thought that I'd be able to heal. Okay, so heal wound, and I'm pretty sure that after that you can still use an action. I probably should have read the abilities, but yes, you can. Okay. So now smoke grenade and cover all three of you, you'll probably be acidified, but you might not die? Which really sounds good to me. Not dying sounds pretty much ideal. Oh, all those flanks. Please don't, oh my god. McBulletspray has just panicked. He's not died. Please just hunker down. Yeah, okay, thank you, I can deal with that. At least a bit. Suppression, again, perfectly fine with me. And a miss. Okay, so... I'm in a bit more of a desperate situation than I was before. I still have this guy moving. He could quite possibly get a kill. But instead he just moves. Okay, Mastodon. You head over here. You need to use one of your grenades. Well, okay, first of all, let's see what shots I have with um, Island Boy here. Or what shots I have with you. 48. 40 is not bad. Let's try for it. At least you'll give holo targeting. Wow, good shot. And I guess you don't give holo targeting because you're not high enough level yet. 100% on a flank right there. Let's go with that. You can just kill from a distance. That, that's ideal, really. Oh, it's only 5 damage. Okay. Well. Could be worse. Um. Head over here, you still have the flank. And you're not suppressed anymore because the, the other guy's been shot. It's 100% chance to hit, 100% chance to kill. Oh, I should have healed first and then, uh, I done goofed. So I can probably kill him even with like the fallout from a small grenade and I maybe want to do damage to the guy behind him. So let's see if that works. I didn't see any extra damage, but I did kill the initial guy. Ren White can actually just reload. You need to. I, I guess throwing a battle scanner also wouldn't be a bad idea. And you can also reload. Misty Inferno is unfortunately out of ammo. Or out of um, rockets anyways. And that maybe is a bit too early for me, but I have yet to lose it. Okay, you know, acid, that's fine with me. I was expecting to die there, so... I can deal with a bit of acid. Um, yeah? Uh, that, that, yeah? That's it? Okay. So, I'm gonna start with Ren and fire on this guy. I'm doing this only for the hollow targeting. I'm doing it all for the nookie. The nookie hollow targeting. Uh, adjusting aim. Then. Oh, you're out of ammo! Reload. Rock and roll. Neither of these guys can actually shoot effectively. But you can, and you have a shot on this guy. I think this might be a time to use my last grenade just to avoid death. So I'm going to use that grenade. It's going to do some damage, <clears throat> and then Misty will be able to hit him. There we go, five damage. Remember, they heal each turn, so you pretty much have to take them out in one turn, unless you want them healing three damage every turn, which is kind of bullshit. There we go, got the kill. No longer a Gatling laser, I do have a shot. It's not a good shot, but maybe I can just suppress? And you can heal wounds right there. I think you actually have immunity hey, to this. Quiet, you big baby. You're fine. Like I think I I think my medic, generic stormtrooper, has immunity to the um 
effects it, of the acid. Yeah, that's entirely true, apparently. And you can still shoot, but do you want to? That's the thing, I guess. I'm just hunkered down for now. And you, you're still in the acid cloud? So maybe move to this yeah, full cover that. and hunker down. Now at least you're healed. Now you're on Overwatch. I have Ren for Overwatches, so I'm not too concerned about that. Come on, Ren, your time to shine. Ren and Island Boy, I think you two alone can finish this off. Island Boy has the Lone Wolf bonus right now because all my units are so far away. Eventually I'm gonna have to move forward with Ren so I can take over like the main captain area, but that is not a concern for immediately. I don't like this cover that can't be destroyed. It's really um really messing with my with my whole my whole shtick here. Like I, I specifically took this unit composition so I could destroy cover and now I can't destroy any cover. Um probably best to just go here and then That's flank and kill him. That probably won't reveal any more enemies. 100% chance to hit, 100% chance to kill. Done. This is how it, Wow, that was it? Yes! <laughs> oh my god, I'm so happy. I'm so happy, happy, happy as can be. Drink some of my B-52 coffee. By the way, some people have a stigma against drinking in the morning. Morning, my favorite time to drink. I like special coffees, coffees with alcohol in them. Delicious. Mmm. Okay, so one gravely wounded soldier, one wounded soldier, everybody alive, two wounded soldiers. Island Boy counts too because um, they were on cooldown. Only eight days though. And lots of promotions. Stormtrooper, you get um, dense smoke is probably ideal, although 20 to crit and 20 to will and 20 to defense is pretty good. But dense smoke is just double area of effect and 20 defense. I like that more actually. You can get holo targeting. I kind of expected you to have it already. Actually, what are the rest? A dense spot. Oh, wait, reconsider. And, oh, no. Th th those are all horrible. Holo targeting it is. Shot make bullet spray. You can take executioner because executioner has really helped me own the long run. And did you get a bunch of um new stats for that? I should really keep track of the stats down there because all the, all the abilities come with different amounts of stats. Like this one gives you plus three aim. This one gives you Plus nothing, really. Um, 10 aim, yeah, holo targeting is definitely going to be what I take there. Of course, you do get your base stat increase every turn, no matter what, but you could get extra aim if you want for different stats. So, I get um, three Thin Man Corpses, one Cyber Disgrep, three Chrysalids, 36 Illyrium, 58 Alien Alloys, 10 Weapon Fragments, four Flight Computers, two Surgeries, two Power Sources, six Seeker Rex. No meld, but... That should help a lot, because basically right now I'm going to build another phalanx armor. Phalanx armor? I can... Oh, I didn't make money. That's the problem. Well, I can get money. Phalanx armor is almost done. I get five alloys back. What do I have to sell? Probably some corpses. Let's go to the situation room and go to um, pending requests. I also said that somebody mentioned that I should probably give up not alien alloys, but was it alien alloys? Alien alloys? I know I can't give up that many alloys. I need those. Maybe it was meld for engineers. It's a lot of meld. Okay, whatever. I'm gonna give up meld for engineers. Um, all the countries, especially Brazil, can actually defend themselves quite well. They keep making requests, and I keep giving it to them. So. The UK seems to suck at defending itself. Australia seems rather good, even though it's almost in full-on panic mode. Let's visit the Grey Market and get a bit of money here. Do I have anything broken? The surgeries I shouldn't sell, because now they have a purpose, apparently. Um, auto laser, weapon gyros, alloy belt, gatling laser, arc rifle. Okay, these arc rifles, I should pretty much... Well, I already sold one, so I'm not going to sell another one. Right now. UFO flight computers I kind of need, weapon fragments I really need, phalanx armor, I just made those. Super heavy laser, that's for our shiv. Some chrysalid carcasses? I think I need like five more in order to make one more, um, 
And maybe a floater corpse and some thin man corpses. There we go. Complete transaction. Let's get one more phalan phalanx armor made. We're always glad to have more help down here. And then I will have six. Submit order. Okay, so let's scan for the next mission. Terrigate Muton is almost done. Panic in Australia, I saw that coming. And um, a new swarming mission in Brisbane. Wait, Australia, I, they already panicked. Is that even worth it? Like all of Asia is already withdrawn. Do you get extra things for it? Where, where, what type of settlement? One or more structures in a remote location. I don't like that at all. A terror mission in Australia. It just reduces the panic in the in the continent that you're taking it in, right? So I can just ignore this. Yeah. Weapon fragments for engineers. Yes. Okay. Done. Exiled operation in China. Um, I, I don't. Oh, they're not withdrawn yet. They're just um panicking. Okay, maybe I should actually go do that mission. So I can still do the mission. Let's send the Sky Ranger. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe. Again, if you really, really enjoyed it, become my patron and support me monthly. That's the link below. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.